Happy New Year's everyone. So we are in the second week of January 2013, or we're just finishing up the second week. And traffic is completely horrendous, so we know that everyone is back from vacation. I didn't actually have vacation, but everyone else is back from vacation and traffic is horrendous. So everyone's getting back into the grind of things and back to work and focusing on the new year. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to do the New Year's resolution, um, share my New Year's resolutions. So I used to be kind of against New Year's uh, resolutions just because I thought that if you wanted to include something about yourself, you shouldn't wait until the New Year to actually do that. But I don't necessarily think that's what New Year's resolutions are, and I kind of have a different point of view on what it is. I think throughout the year, if you ever think that you need to accomplish something, or you want to improve yourself in any kind of way, or set a goal for yourself, then do it right then and there. Um, that's the best time to do it. That's the best time you're going to be motivated to do it. But then I think during the new year, or the turn of the the previous year to the new year, the new year, um, it's a good time to reflect on the previous year, but then also um, set goals for yourself for the coming year, the new year. So that's kind of how I look at New Year's resolutions. So it's kind of resolutions, um, resolutions, goals, um, things like that. Resolutions slash goals or things that I want to include. So. I am going to share that with you, and if you've done a New Year's resolution um, video, please um, link it link it to this video because I'd love to watch. I'd like to see what other people are working on themselves. That's probably something I need to work on as well. Um, I am completely not perfect, and this list is by no means comprehensive, and it is ever growing. Right, babe? All right, let's get started. Nearly everyone has health resolutions, and generally it's weight loss. That is not one of my resolutions. That's not one of my goals. Um, so in terms of nutrition, I think it would be just drinking more water. I moved from a humid climate to a drier climate, and I think that is part of the reason why I always feel dehydrated. So drinking more water is one of my resolutions. My doctor actually recommended that I should exercise, which my whole life I feel like people have been telling me to exercise less. Um, I really don't have the energy to exercise, but I, in the least, my resolution is to stretch um, and, and regain my flexibility. I used to be able to do splits and everything like that. Um, now I cannot do that. So um, I'm just really tight in my legs and flexibility is, um, it's just, it's just going to help me a lot later, I guess, or just like to, like, to be able to be flexible and move around. That is, um, that is one of my goals. And then the second tier of the goal would be to, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, go swimming. I was going to try to uh, sign up for swim classes, but I just have not had the time within already within the first two weeks. So I'm already failing at that. That's why I'm making it the second tier goal um, to exercise. But I don't know, with a kid like this, when you have, when you have a two-year or a one-year-old, um, she's one and a half, almost one and a half, um, they just, they're like exercise in and of itself, so I just don't get enough cardio, that's it. Uh, but I think stretching will be my practical resolution, something that I can maybe actually do or accomplish, fulfill. I don't know, just I continually feel guilty about where I am in the career. Um, category and I just want to continue to try to grow and expand my career and then also um, just con uh, try to integrate things that I like to do or enjoy doing into the job that I have and I think that's a good goal for everyone I mean no job is perfect and there's just going to be things that about your job that you're going to do that you don't like but if there's ways that you can try to figure out how to integrate the things that you enjoy doing into what you have to do then um, that's good. I mean, it's the ideal is to do what you love and never have to work another day in your life. Um, but that's really difficult <laughs> if you want to pay the bills. Uh, I'm always trying to continue to be more social, and I've I've um, I've been doing pretty good so far, I guess. Um, the first weekend in this new year, I took my daughter. Um, kind of like on a play date to a children's museum and I was hanging out with some other moms so 
that is the first step and that is and we already have another date kind of set and hopefully maybe that's for next month but hopefully maybe in between now and then we can have um, more social gatherings and things like that and I guess I would probably maybe want to start dating again I don't know that takes effort um, so that's kind of going to be on again on the second tier I guess there's like a few things um, one is to upload more and I am already failing at that if this is we're already at the end of the second week I yeah I just you know, when your daughter or your child doesn't sleep, you don't sleep. So that kind yeah. of, and when you work a full-time job, that is, uh, uh, sleep is my number one priority. Yeah. So, but um, last year I saw that I uploaded probably over a hundred videos, which is, uh, looking back on it, is is pretty impressive, I have to say. Good, good for me. Um, and so I would like to do the same, if not more. I'd love to, like to upload at least once, I don't know, once a week is not going to be 100 videos. So I guess at least 100 videos, if, um, I guess that would be my goal, maybe at least twice a week. And then other things in um, the recreation category is camera. I know this camera really sucks, and I'm always complaining about how much it sucks. Um, so there's just a lot that needs to be done in terms of like researching and what kind of kind of a good camera and then just learning the basics of good camera. Now that she is moving all over the place, I need I need fast shutter speed, small or large aperture. Um, and I know what those terms are. I just don't really know how to operate that on an actual DSLR. Once I actually know how to operate that, then I'll probably invest in a good DSLR, and then try to film in HD, I guess filming HD is probably one of my goals. That's like another thing where then I'd have to figure out about memory space because I have a lot of, like everything is on my laptop right now and I need to figure that out. Something kind of where I can have a backup versus just a hard drive because even if you have an external hard drive, I just get a little bit worried about that. Two things. One is be happier. That is always the goal. I think no one can be happy and uh, too happy, so or happy enough. So that is a goal. And I was watching Nikki Philippi's um, video on how to be happy. She's doing ha ha uh, be happy, be happy in January or something like th like that. And yeah, I think that my tip for in response to that video would be to just like smile more and pretend that you're happy. I'm not really good a good one to pretend what I'm not feeling, um, but I will try to work on that. That's definitely a resolution. And then the second one is to be more patient, I guess. Um, yeah, like even, you know, simple things like driving, like I moved to, I call it a different country, but it's like a different country. These people do not have, know how to drive and it, I get pretty frustrated. So to, you know, be more patient, even like, you know, like I said, back in, in the career category, uh, feeling, I can feel pretty guilty about where I am in my career and people I work with can sometimes, you know, foster that uh, guilt and frustration. So to be able to handle that with um, elegance is, is a goal. It's always a goal just to be more patient. And I think as you grow older, you tend to be more patient, but I don't know. So um, she definitely tests my patience. So not she doesn't test my patience, but she helps me develop my patience for sure. Open a 529 for my daughter. Um, I have never really liked dealing with money. Uh, but now that I have a daughter, I really have to start thinking about the future and um, saving like my retirement and her college education and things like that. And there are a lot of options and it is very overwhelming. I think I'm going to try to do a video once I figure it all out on 529s. 529s uh, briefly is college savings for your kid. And yeah, so that is definitely something that I want to do for her and or get that all set up. And yeah, so that is my New Year's resolution slash goals for 2013. Um, I'd love to hear what your goals and resolutions are for this coming year. Um, and I know I've said this a million times, but this is list list is by no means comprehensive, and but it's a good starter list for me, I guess. 
and I hope you um, have a happy new year, happy new year everybody, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon, bye! Babe, you want to say bye? You want to say bye bye? Come over here, come say bye! Come say bye! She's coming. <laughs> come say bye! Come say bye, can you say bye? Can you say bye? Can you give a kiss? Oh, you want to sit on Mama's lap? Can you say bye? Can you say bye bye? Can you give a kiss? Good job. Bye. <laughs> okay. What number is this? Yeah, good job. Let's